I'm challenging you to make it through this video. This integral is no joke, and we're going to have to draw upon a couple of pretty powerful functions to get the job done. But if you can make it through, I promise it will be worth the wait and the struggle because the answer is pretty remarkable. The first tool we'll need is the Lambert function, usually denoted with a W. Here's its series representation. Why do we care about this? Well, the Lambert function is the inverse function to x times e to the x. And remember how inverse functions work. When we compose them either way around, they essentially undo each other and they just spit out x. So when we compose w and x times e to the x either way around, we just get out x because they're inverse functions. The next tool we need is the gamma function. It probably deserves its own video, but the gamma function is the generalized factorial function typically defined as this improper integral. The last major tool we need to solve this problem is the Riemann zeta function and its cousin, and I'm not going to be able to say this correctly, direct eta function. Since the eta and the zeta functions are so similar, they have a very nice relationship that lets us transfer between the two. Now that we have all the tools we need, let's get after this problem. Now I certainly don't know how to integrate this as is. Let's find a different representation for our integrand and integrate that. I'll just call our integrand y. And the first thing to notice about it is that it's this ascending tower of x to the x. It's like this infinite iteration. And another way to write this would be y equals x to the x all to the y. It has this repetition pattern to it. We could keep substituting x to the x to the y in for y, and it would build this infinite tower. Writing it like this lets us take advantage of our properties of logarithms. Let's take the natural logarithm of both sides here. So ln of y equals ln of x to the x to the y. With properties of logarithms, we'll take this y down front, and this will be y natural log of x to the x. And now, for seemingly no apparent reason, we'll insert an e to the ln. Remember that e and ln, the exponential function and the natural logarithmic function, are inverses of each other. They undo each other, so we can insert them. I'm just going to put an e to the ln right here around this y, and this is completely legal. Now let's take this and divide both sides by this e to the natural log y term. And maybe you can see where we're going if you think back to that Lambert function. Remember that the Lambert function is the inverse function of x e to the x. So this is pretty close, isn't it? We have a natural log y e to the natural log y. So let's make these exactly match up by taking the negative of both sides here. Compose both sides with w, and we can finally take advantage of the property that w of x e to the x is simply x. Or really, x in this case is minus natural log y. So now we've composed those, we've canceled things out with the Lambert function, we're only a few steps away from solving for y, so ln of y is minus w of minus ln of x to the x, or we could take the e of both sides and say that our original y is also equal to e to the minus w of minus natural log of x to the x. Now thanks to those inverse properties of the Lambert function, we can rearrange this so we have e to the minus w of something in the exponent. Let's do just that. Let's divide both sides by x and divide both sides by e to the w of x. w of x over x equals e to the minus w of x. And now we have yet another representation for what we have as y. Just match these things up, and we now have y as, well, it's w of x over x, but it's not x in this case, it's minus ln of x to the x. So this will be w of minus ln of x to the x, all over x, which in this case is minus ln of x to the x. And maybe let's just take advantage of those logarithms one more time to drop down these x to the x powers. And we're finally getting somewhere. This is something we can integrate. So now our job is to integrate this. How do we do that? Well, remember that power series representation of w? Let's plug minus x ln x into that series representation. Glossing over a few of the algebraic details, this is our new integrand. So let's switch these symbols. 
Everything that doesn't have an x attached will pull out of the sum, so we've separated these, and maybe this is a little bit of a cop-out, but this integral right here is a variant on the gamma function. This is something I would probably look up on a table of integrals, so let's just replace this. And we've performed all the integration we need. We just need to figure out what this sum equals and we'll be all set. How many negative ones do we have? We have 2 to the n, we've got a minus 1 to another n, that's 3 n's, and an extra negative would make an extra 1, so this negative 1 is to the power of 3 n plus 1. This 1 over n to the n would cancel with this n to the n, and we'd have an extra 1 over n left over. Gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial, and so the n minus 1 factorial over the n factorial is another 1 over n. If we start writing out the terms of this series, what we're seeing is that this is the eta function evaluated at 2, and we have that relationship between the eta function and the Riemann zeta function, and if you compute this, this is a half. So we have one half of the Riemann zeta function at 2. And so we're finally here. Our original problem, which we rewrote using the Lambert function, integrated using the gamma function, defined it as the eta function, which is one half of the zeta function, one over n squared, this is the zeta function at two, this is a famous well-known result, one over n squared from one to infinity, this is pi squared over six. And so our final answer is pi squared over 12. What an amazing result. So much went into this, it's hard to believe that this is the crazy answer that we got. If you're looking for the decimal representation, this is about 0.822. Now if you want to see another amazing integral, click the video on the screen right here. I'll see you in that one.